I just fuck your bitch That's some Gucci flip flops Heart throb never Black and ugly as ever However, I stay Gucci down to the socks You get the bag and fumble it I get the bag and flip it and tumble it Yo, 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 yo. Hey, we back, brother. How you feeling? Oh, man, I'm feeling very good. Very, very good. Better Ooh, than usual. Wee, wee, wee. This is Better. a special episode, man. Oh, episode nine. We in the building. Yes, sir. Oh, man, we got we something told, special for him, We man. told him we had something special for him. We told him. So let's give them all the particulars. Of course, this is Flip Flops and Socks Podcast, the coziest podcast in the game. I am Paris. This your boy, Tashambi. And today we got some special guests, man. Some special guests, and I don't, I don't, I don't say that lightly. Special, man. And look, again, we appreciate that, man. We appreciate y'all coming out, man, to flip flops and socks, man. And uh, we're, we're gonna, gonna get, have a special get episode, episode, man. So we're gonna start on the left. We got Doctor Marlon, Doctor Marlon Haywood. How you doing, Doctor Marlon? <laughs> He's a doctor, guys. This yeah. is no joke. Hold on, okay. check his credentials. Hold on, let's get one up for him. Oh, we got to start uh, off. For everybody who's drinking, as you can see, the doctor, the doctor. He, he prefers water. It's only right. The doctor's it's in. Only right. It's the only doctor's right. in. The doctor's in the house. And uh, as you can see, we not smoking this episode because the doctor says emphysema kills. <laughs> he didn't say that. I said that. I said that. But the doc says those are the rules. Uh, and, I, and I'm going to tell you what, if I listen to anybody, it's my physician. Now, <laughs> on the right side, we have Mr. Ricky Layfield. Right on, let's Mister. Let's get, let's give let's it up one more time. I gotta take two because it's only right we do it's two. Only right. Right. It's only, come on, Rick. You gotta raise your glass on this. You gotta one, raise right. your water. Come on, raise that water, Doc. Come on, Okay. Because this is this is a very special episode for him. This is. I'm thirsty too. Now. Perfect. Now. Let me explain to you. Well, actually, I'm gonna let these gentlemen explain to you who they are. So we're gonna start with Doctor, Doctor, Doctor Marlon Haywood. Let's get it. Talk to him. Tell him a little bit about yourself. Um, just a little bit about myself. Born and raised on the south side of Chicago from the Inglewood community. Uh, founding president of Urban Male Network, an organization that uh, mentors young men between the ages of 14 to 18 years old. And we still mentor and work with young men post uh, high school as well. Okay. Work, and, you know, just to kind of start off, that's, that's it about me. I guess I'll leave it brief. Right right. Okay, okay. We're going we to get some more from him. We definitely going to get some more from him. But we're going to leave it brief right now. And we gonna, and we, and, um, yeah. what, what, what school did you attend? I attended NIU undergrad uh, okay. and for grad school. And then I got my doctorate at Roosevelt. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Congratulations again, my brother. Congratulations, Mike. Congratulations again, again once yeah. again. Thank you. All right. Now, uh, let's do this, Mr. Layfield. Come on, man. Talk to him. Tell him a little bit about yourself. What's going on, everybody? Ricky Layfield from the east side of Chicago. <laughs> uh, graduated at Hyde Park Academy. Uh, got my bachelor's in political science from NIU and got my master's in education, an uh, emphasis in student affairs from NIU as well. I'm um, actually the VPA program for Urban Mill Network and I work for three different nonprofits now. So I'm big on youth engagement and community development. Uh, that's what I study, where I live by. Uh, I do youth counseling, things like that, youth development, and that's pretty much me. I'm just big on community work. Giving back. That is That's very impressive. Dope. That's very impressive. Appreciate you, bro. Oh my Thanks God, man, we got some we got some legends in the building yes, right now. Sir. We have some legends in the building, and I tell you what, I know it's kind of biased because we got two NIU people. For all my SIU people, <laughs> me and Shami, we went to we SIU. Yeah, we so, have, baby. So we know we know what's up. So but you but know what's up, baby. So wait, so wait a minute, both of y'all went to SIU. We both went to SIU, man. Okay. We both went to SIU, but we got some NIU legends in the building because we don't okay. discriminate. It's all we don't discriminate at all. It's all love. Oh, it's all it's all SIU legends too, man. Legends all right, y'all dogs. Let's <laughs> just definitely recognize legends. <laughs> we all dogs. Dog. Oh yeah. I, I, I done took that journey. We gonna make it. Make it. <laughs> we gonna make it. I mean, it, oh man. Okay, 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 okay. 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 No, okay. So let's give them what they came in for. Let's pay the bills. Let's pay the bills because yes, the fam know we need the lights, man. Yes, sir. We need the lights. See, see how this going on right now? It's a lot going on right now. All right. So let's pay the bills. And to pay our bills, we got our top sponsor. Yes, sir. Of them all, the Quo Group. From storytelling to entertainment, music to philanthropy, the Quo theory of change reflects his overall belief and has become a way of life for Kareem. Quo Wales. The K stands for know your genius. The W stands for work to be unstoppable. The O stands for own your actions. And the E stands for explore the world. Whether it's frontlining some of the most upscale events in Chicago or putting in thousands of hours of volunteer work and community service, the Quo group is an essential part 
of the Chicago entertainment scene. Right on. I always Actually, nationwide entertainment scene. This, this guy's a legend, too. Now, we talking legends. This guy's a legend, too. Let's give him a I'm shout just, out. I'm just, I'm just putting Let's it out there. We talking about out. community. So, if, we give, if we giving shout outs. Let's give him a shout out. Hey, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna put we, that work in. We ain't going to have Mr. Layfield to... Uh, can we call you, what should we refer to you guys as? Should we, should we call you Doc? Can you we call say, you Doc? You can just say Doc, you can say Marlon, whichever one you want. We don't know. that. He earned it. Right. Okay, he, he, earned earned it. It. he earned it. I just want to give him that. Yeah. Now, this, this guy's a, he's a legend in another way, too. Y'all, you all, <laughs> everybody you know, at NIU. You know, <laughs> you know, you know. He's legendary. He's world renowned. So, once again, you already know what it is, bro. We got the Cold Group sponsoring us, man. So, we can never lose. Pay the bill. We could never lose. K W O E Group. Dot com. Check them out. See how you can change your life. All right, man. So let's get right into it, man. Let's get right into it. Now. You forgot. Talk to me. Flip flops. Socks. Uh, <laughs> dot com. For all your apparel. I tried to catch you. Your spring. Never catch and you And your slipping. summer apparel. I'm going to get you And slipping. we still have that 10%. Flops in. Just all you got to do is just enter it. For all your spring and summer apparel. Now. It let's get down to so business. So now. Uh, we can get right into it. That's a labor and task to pay those bills, man. It's a man's Sweet. job, though. All right. Hard labor. So on this show, we, uh, we don't like to talk uh, too many problems. We like to address the problems and get straight to solutions. Pro- we talk at the, oh, back and forth with the problems. Okay, so let's just do that. Let's just do that. I'm going I'm to start here with this question. Any, any, any one of you guys can go first. Okay. What would you guys say is the number one task on the black agenda? The number one task. What, what do we need for, 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 for those who don't understand that rhetoric? What do we need to get done right now? What do we as a people, what's the first, the most urgent thing we need to get done right now? Talk to me. Yeah, I mean, I know Ricky go follow up behind this, but I think it's kind of hard to say what is the number one task. Because if That's you fair. ask... Every black person, every black person is going to say something different. You ask one person, they're going to say, you know what, education. We need to put more money into education to pay the teachers. Um, you ask somebody else, they're going to say, hey, we need to defund the police department, which, you know, there's been talks about where they don't really mean defund. They just mean decrease the budget. But then when you talk to others, they say, no, I truly mean defund the police. True. That's mm-hmm. definitely true. Um, mm-hmm. And so... <laughs> How do, we get to, how, do we, how do we get to a place of actually policing ourselves? That's a whole nother conversation. Um, you talk to some African-Americans that say, you know what? What about uh, reparations? Like we need True. to be, rep- we need money back from slavery, from all the work that mm. was done and we was never paid. Others would say right. housing. Like we need more money for fair housing. Uh, we need more money as far as within the black community when it comes to vesting into that. It can even be within businesses. So I think that there is not one particular agenda one that ad- is answer. like at the top because you got business you got there's it's a not, bracket exactly mm. there are not many minority owned businesses in our community when you look go, go to the corner store they're typically owned by asians or they're owned by uh arabians or people mm. who do not look like us right they're from like out of the country so i think that it it's like we would have to really lay out a plan and say, how do we tackle each one, like one by so one? A lot, so, so what you're saying is a lot of these problems basically go hand in hand as well. They do go hand in hand. If, if you look at the... crime within our community, a lot of times crime happens where there is poverty. So if poverty is high, you're going to have a high crime rate. Mm. When poverty is low, typically your crime is lower. I mean, statistically, they kind of go hand in hand. Single parent households is also common in high poverty and crime areas like that's high. So a lot of that stuff literally goes hand in hand. And when you look at the numbers when it comes to education, a lot of times, again, you have people who have not finished high school. So it's so many things that are like layered that that need to be addressed within the black community. What about you? Do you, do you, do you like you got something? No, nah, we need to right now. We need <laughs> our 48. This, number, this is the number one thing. Say, he the number one thing. Right, you know. So it's, it's going to sound cliche, but I'm going to break it down to some actual tangible things. Okay, let's get in there. Uh, when I speak about this, I, and the word I'm thinking of that we need for sure is community. And that sounds like a cute word. Oh, community, we need community. I'm going to say what I mean. Um, you think about like a bike, right? A bike that comes in a box. They give you all the pieces. True. But of course, the shit not moving forward because it's not together, 
Right. I've never bought a bike in so, a box. Bro. Right. Well, any, so <laughs> any of the bike that's not I, together. I, I can relate. I bought a okay, bike. Okay, in okay, okay. You bought okay, you got a skrilla bike you gotta, in a box. Marlon, you bought a bike in a box. You gotta put it together. I I bought my bikes were simple, but you are a very crafty man. Go ahead. So every piece you need is right there, right? True. But the thing about it is you gotta actually construct, you gotta put it together to make it work. I think in the community, there's a lack of community, um, for one, meaning most people don't even know their neighbors nowadays. Mm. Um, and I asked somebody, I was like, That's a fact. if That's the police factual. all quit today, could we have police in our own communities? And somebody was like, yeah, we could. And I was like, why don't we do it now? And people think that it's just brute force, but another a big issue with the police now is a lack of community, right? They don't know who they're policing. Facts. So if we were to police ourselves, we would have to know each other. You can't tell a shorty, stop game, make y'all the block. You get your ass shot. You know what I'm saying? So, are you, so you're saying turn all the the old ex ex thugs from the hood that everybody the, knows. The, 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 the thing is into twelve. Uh, uh, nah, I ain't, so that's the thing we look at as twelve. Okay, okay, okay. Because okay, okay. a lot of the you know, and we've seen this recently. Some gang members police their communities, or they used to. True. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Yeah, I've seen um, that recently. That's a fact. But this idea of like this gang member is evil and this church goer is 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 good has to cease because it's really just opportunities and conversations. A lot of times you look at somebody who's a game member, they're even missing some income, family, they got hella idle time, or whatnot. But at the same time, these people are not attacking old people when they block, they, they, they care That's about That's a them. fact. You know what I'm saying? But they don't know that. So no my thing is, everything we need, honestly, we already have. We just don't have a network connected. Like, if you really want a black owned business in your community, it's hella vacant bills up and down the street. True. And for as a collective, we got money but because a, oh, oh, we got bread. Because as a collective, black people spend a lot of money. We spend money all the damn time. Now we spend that money in the community. Imagine what can unravel, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if if facts. if Miss Jordan down the street was making chicken and everybody bought that shit instead of buying sharks, think about it. Oh yeah, we'll, that money would be circulating. This is all so. tangible things, bro. Like this is not something I'm just out, out of my ass about. Like this is all tangible things. Fair. But it all comes to bringing back black clubs. Black clubs. It co it comes back because more more likely. The people who cause havoc on your block, or the people that probably cutting the grass, like are all one and the same. It's just that they don't. It's no connection. Hmm. Okay. So, so, so you think we need community? Okay. So I think community. in regards to economics, I think violence, I think police, I think all that it comes from community. Okay. Okay. So let's go there. You both hit on one specific topic: police. Okay. So recently. It's been a lot of petitions calling for the defunding of police departments and such. And you say some people say, oh, no, we just mean decrease, decrease the, the funds that go there and, and allocate those funds somewhere else. That's, that's what we mean, you know. But you have some who say, oh, no, 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 we don't even need police anymore. Like we, we they, they've messed up so bad. They're so untrustworthy that we can't we, we just can't live with them anymore. So defund them completely. Right. OK, so I ask this question. If we decrease. If we decrease the police presence, like in our neighborhood and things like that, um, how would that work? How, how would that work? If we, if we, if we, now I understand this. Okay, so I do know that this is a fact. I do know that our communities are over policed. I know that that's a fact. That I understand when you fact. have when you have a community that's over policed, you have more quotas to fill because it's more officers. So that therefore the 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 the, the amount of arrests, picking on somebody, yeah, uh, arrests happen at, at a higher rate because people got to meet their quotas and such and all these things or whatever. Okay, so but I'm asking you this, if we defund the police department, let's say we go full full vigilante. Take all the funds away, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when someone calls 911 and says there's a burglar in my house, what do you want the operator to say? Are we sending you thousand prayers? We're sending our thousand we'll, prayers which we don't have no more police. We'll send advice. I think that you got to look at countries who, who do not have a police system in mm. place, right? They actually have, it, for every scenario that people pitch, there is a country or a place that is typically kind of running off that system. For example, you have some people who are against guns being out on the streets and they feel like you should eliminate all guns that would decrease violence. It doesn't start, it's not the gun or the guns that is the problem. It is the people who choose to handle the gun and have it that is the problem. So Very I want to say in London, I want to, I think it's London, there is no guns really over there. That's they just, definitely they London. Just, That's they, definitely yeah, London. London. Yep. They just have not, like they have a, but you want to hear the problem that they have? They have a problem with people getting stabbed. A lot they, of shaking, so, a lot so of people, damage. People, so people they, carrying they, knives. Real beat-ups, real fights, yes. real bar so fights. Violence isn't new. 
That's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't. I okay, so it's no, no, wait, no, 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 okay, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. But that, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's so a good what, point. what I'm saying is, is that people always want to kind of point to one particular thing and say, well, if we take away this or we add this, that that will then change the situation. That doesn't necessarily change the situation because then the the illustration or the example that I just gave with London, they took away guns, but then now they got a knife problem. It's another deal. Right? It's another situation. Exactly. Where people to... are being like, so yeah. now let's say you take away the police and then you say we're going to police our own community. Then what is to stop people from being corrupt? Right within okay. their own community. Okay. What is to stop then certain people to kind of rise up in power and then now, you know what? I feel like I can start running certain drugs through here. You know, you got to pay me to protect your business. Who who's to then stop those individuals? Because if if they want to and then they now become to being in a powerful position, who's to stop them? Who's okay. to say that they can't okay. do so, that? Okay. So so are you so would you would you would you say that before you get into because that was a good point that was a good point this violence isn't new now are you saying that if we t- if if, our, if we're to train the officers more like like uh, don't take away the funds but give them more training maybe so they know who they're who like like because because uh, this is a fact yeah. on average it takes nine hundred and sixty hours to become a police officer but anybody can it do takes fifteen hundred hours to become a hairdresser now that's wild that's wild that's I mean, wild that's why? It ain't Come really hard on. to arrest and shoot a nigga, but it's hard to put in a, a frontal. I'm talking about a frontal. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> y'all better ask. It's, it's more difficult. It's to, way it's more, more difficult to put in the install like a nigga top front. off, but it's hard to put one on. And you gotta have. It's easy to take a nigga top off. Yeah, but it's hard, hard, it's hard gotta, to put them on top patience. You got to have patience. Oh, my God. You so have to have patience. It's, it's easier to put it to install a frontal than apprehend a suspect. Now, I would say this. Now, people might disagree with me on this. I don't, I don't truly feel that we should defund okay. the system, but I feel like we need to infiltrate the system. Mm. Um, and elaborate, so then we need, to get, we, we need to get more people who look like us, who come from the community, who is now protecting us. Now, yes, there have been black officers who have been in the wrong, um, but then I, I can truly say that I've actually, I have friends that are officers, that are good officers, I as well. um, and that, that are good people. And I feel that there are there are some people. If we got more people who are truly more committed, that really love the community, that could make a difference. But again, I can hear people saying the argument that has happened. You still got the white racists that are in there. People that are not going to do anything at the end of the day, they're going to still protect the shield. But I feel that the only way that we begin to change the system is when we begin to put people from our community into those positions, from the judges to the prosecutors. To the police, so you can't just stop at the police department. Okay, it's a whole system that has to be changed, and I think that's the thing. Even if you did say, you know, we're gonna change the police department, there's still so many other areas that we have to work on and change in order to really get the change that we want to see within our community. Mm. That is all factual because, like you said, a lot of these problems go hand in hand. A lot of these situations go hand in hand, and it takes you. Ha- it's like, like you said, it's a bracket. You have to eliminate, you have to start eliminating certain problems to get to the actual, the other problems. But I want to go back to what you said. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to speak on that too because... Okay, yeah, yeah, that, let's do that, let's do that. I'm the type of person, before I speak on removing something completely, I need to think about alternative. Like, I want to look at the, the budget, the fucking line items and say, okay, we're taking this from here and this from here and we're cursing numbers here and putting it here. Because I work in social services, so I've benefited from this the most, right? <laughs> but, I, but I can't sit here and say, like, take away the money of the police because of this. It was a study before. I've been studying psychology a lot. And they had like some college students who actually acted as like officers, right? And over time, they began to have. For the this, class? For, for a class? Like a, it was like, you, you, I ain't gonna lie, people, psychologists do a lot of stuff in the name of science. Okay, and they, and, they let, and they let them go so, like, with and, a lot of rigor. Exactly, but long okay, story okay. short, the college students became like the officers. And they had people who were prisoners, right? Okay. And over time, this area about them started to develop. And I really believe that. Absolute power cross absolutely. I okay. think that human nature, when people are in charge of things, they become corrupt. It sounds fucked up, but I believe this. I was going to speak on that when he was talking because you could be at a point where, yeah, we put this person that's from our community at this high level. Once they get to that high level and they get big headed, it's like, mm, oh, I know how they it's move. It's human nature. <laughs> I go ahead and bump it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because I already know he going to go here, he going to go there. I already got this. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm above. Don't go there. Don't go here. You feel what I'm saying? Because okay. at the end of the day, I got more power than you. Okay. So, okay. This is what I'm looking at too. 
a few things with this. Also, by human nature, who really likes authority, right? Mm. So everybody's rebellious. So by even nature. though teachers could be the most lovable people, as a shorty, how you know about their teachers, right? And Facts. A lot of the time, it's because they have some type of authority over you. Even kids with their parents. But I'm gonna speak on this though. Let's Facts. say if you only was there to punish your son, and that was it. Y'all would never have a relationship. Is, is punishment rehabilitation like that needed? Yes. But if you were only there for that, your relationship would be strained. If police don't have shit to do, I don't see why police aren't more into the community aspect. Mm. If the police are doing shit all day, why aren't they at the after-school programs? Why are they playing True. basketball True. or outside painting buildings and shit? You know what I'm saying? So the so, police got all this so free time. Like, what, what about but what about the officers that's on the other side that's that's telling you like, man, look, we try to do certain things in the community. It's very few. I'm saying so for my job, we do a a, a bail CPD and um bulls thing. Okay. Most of the time, I see it, the black officers come. Right. Okay, that's fair. And you know what I'm saying? Talk and then come hoop so we talk to him. One officers I know he's working at school program with me in the hood. I ain't worked at John Hope with me. Like we cool. I talk to him all the time. You know, he obviously a black officer, but he he's an honest. He talks. My, my thing is this, if police, any force you have that's only there for discipline is going to be viewed in negative light, period. And it's okay. is, is, is transferable. So you can start a new, a new force called community force, and <laughs> if you think that niggas ain't finna try to check them, you got your mind. Yep, and, that's true. And, like you said, and honestly, because he, what to do. The it, sheer fact of authority. I really believe that we can, if we police ourselves more, if, we, if they say, you know what, y'all yeah, police yourselves. I know for a fact we're gonna have to kill more of us than most people ever did in order to get people to fall in line. Whoa. Because why about listening to you? Facts. Why? Unless you come with love first. Unless I can say, hey, mm. this and man. So would that would that come into I'm sorry for cutting you off. Mm -hmm. But would that come into the training, more training? You, I don't know you, if it, you, you you learn how to be more empathetic and sympathetic to certain situations. I don't think trained on the community aspect at all. Okay. Like, I don't know if that's even a, I don't know. I don't know if oh, but no, no, that's true. That's true. I don't even know if that's a that's part true. of That's true. So let me retract that. We don't even know if, if community, if, we don't if even know even if taking community it serious. training is part of the actual police because training. Because like, right. how to deal with the people. I remember I was at a panel and the officer said, depending on how you respond when you're getting pulled over, that's an officer respond to you. And what? I'm mad. I was like, Whoa. in what profession is that okay? <laughs> right. Because right, the education. Right, like so if a kid right come in like, F you, dude, I can't come out like, but F you too. I lose my job, right? Facts. So I'm trying to figure out why in that profession, it's okay. It's so okay. Be professional. No, it's professional, then it's the customer or the patron or whatever. They are, they only, are. In this profession, only in police officers where it's like, I can respond, have a public respond to me. That makes no sense to me. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's regular mentality. That's like, if I try to check you right now, it's like, okay, well, I'm expect you to say something back to me. It's like, right. But my thing, this is my job. You don't have to do like, like, It's like, damn. It's and like, me on the street, bro. We got me. You have to come. This is, I'm at work. Right. Facts. It's an actual, this Facts. is an actual. And you're employment. having a bad day. And you having a bad day depends on how I'm responding. That makes okay. no sense, Okay. That's bro. ridiculous. Okay. So let me ask this then. Let me ask this. Well, let, let, let's end that and say, it's so many. We don't, we don't. Like, y'all both basically are on the same wavelength when you say, before we completely defund or even partially defund, or whatever we choose to do, let's have an alternative plan in place. There's other things, like you said, there's so many other gears moving before we can just say, defund them completely. You feel me? Yeah. They're, they're, we, we have to have an alternative in place because we don't want anarchy. Now, hmm. let me ask this. We're all black men here. And I, I just want to put this question out there, man, because I've been reading this a lot. I've been seeing this a lot. And, and, I, and I, I take offense to it because as, as brothers of the community, I, 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 well, I don't want to take offense to it because I can't speak on everyone. But I'll say this. I've been seeing this a lot. And I want to ask this question. I'm going to get down to the brass tacks. Do you think that black men do enough in our communities? No. Definitely Whoa. not. Whoa. What about you? No. Oh. I don't think anybody does. Now, now and the reason why I def I'll let him go first. If okay. Not, okay. I'll, I'll the doctor, the doctor I'm a, deferred. And I'm going to say this too, man. Coming from a story who was, who was in the hood very frequently, only one of my friends go to school was me, straight up. The, the stuff I learned in college, like... I didn't, it wasn't a big thing about mentorship in the community. The, the, the truth is this, mentorship is basically your past, your future self coming back to your past. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's like, the short I'm talking to is- Wait, hold on. Let's pop, wait, 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 you wait, wait, wait. Let's, let you just drop some jewels right there. We ain't just, just going to gloss jewels. over that. Okay. Now hold on. I've never heard this. Okay. When say that again. I always say I won't go to the future, right? Okay. So that's what mentorship is. So Ricky 10 years from now, if he came back in time and was like, hey, do this, do this, do that. I'm going to listen right now. He know what he's talking about. That's what mentorship is. Wow. So you talking That's to a, a shorty, you set them up That's for the next fact. path. I ain't always going to listen? No. 
Nah, of course not. Nah, nah, I got nah, students nah, nah. Because they go left. Wants... They be like, man, I'm going to go straight right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they never going to listen. Curiosity. But my thing is, for it to be so many people that are entrepreneurs, so many people in college, so many people in the military, so many people who got trade, there's no reason why so many youth are out making up their own terms. You ain't got big homies no more in the gang life. It's rare. Mm, that's big homie 25. That's not a big homie. So you on, on, on all you fronts, past 21. Hey, on no, all fronts, he a, you vibe, that's you vibe bandit. You know what I'm saying? How is someone 25 going to be the big homie? Bro? And that might even be that old. In my yep. neighborhood, we were 17, 18 calling shots. Trying to be the big homies. You know what I'm saying? We're actually being the big homies. We had one dude teaching us the game. He's like 24, 25. But other than that, it was just us. Make so sure you talk to the mic. Is, Make sure you talk to the mic. As a community, we don't... Because there's a lot of girls out here who don't have that guidance either. So I can't say these black men. I feel like as black men, we don't do enough for sure. But as a community, like... We don't do enough. Like we 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 might go to work and go home, and that's it. You can't do that. We already behind, bro. Whew. We too far behind. We're now, too far behind. That's a and, strong and, statement. And, so and I talk. would say this is that I'm not saying that there are not black men involved in the community Never because say that. there are a lot of black men who are there are a lot of black men. Can you hear me now? Okay, cool. There are a lot of black men that are involved within the community, but when I'm looking at the people who typically involve, let's say if I was to put something out on Facebook and I say, hey, I need volunteers to come up to this event. Or I'm looking for donations of money, looking for donations for an event or a program. The lar- the largest number, I think, I give an example. We did an urban male expo. Mm. Typically, when we do events, if women are invited, women always outnumber the, the men. That is true. Always. Oh, oh, that's, that's a play. fact. Uh, that's true. That always, is a fact. Literally, a fact. They are, now unless we say it, it is just men only. If, if we do something man and women, women would always outnumber the, the men, especially when it comes to black men. And when we do service events, it's always women that are there in large numbers. When it comes to looking for donation, it's always the women that saying, how can I donate? How much do you need? That's the women true. are quick to donate or quicker to donate than black men. When you look at fields and education, women outnumber men. When you look at who's and in the office with it, nonprofits, the medical nonprofit field, sector, okay. all of that, it's, it's women that are outnumbering the men. Now the question is, is that where are the men? I'm speaking on that though. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, and that's why you know, uh, you know, you think about male privilege and where it's at. In my field, it's all, it's all big women who dominate. Most of our CEOs are women, yeah. stuff like that. Most men are in labor fields, right? Yes. Okay. And yeah, that's fair. That, that's the truth. That most is men, fair. Most men are in labor fields because yeah. traditionally a man is supposed to use his hands and his body to earn a dollar. Traditionally. Traditionally. No, no, I, I know what you mean. That's not what I do, but I'm you sure know, they know what you mean. Facts. I'm Everybody sure knows what you're talking about. They know about. what you mean. So, I, I do think that that career choice and that gender role plays a big part, too, in men being active in things like social services and nonprofit stuff like that. But, to his point, though, and I don't know if women don't know because they really care or they come through because they want to see some men, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know which women do is. come out more <laughs> no, than those that, type of events. <laughs> I mean, whether, but look, okay, so even if it's, but see, if you flip it on the flip side, men can come out to see women and they still don't. Oh, I don't know. When it's, when it, it depends mm-hmm. too, though. Wait, wait, if we're talking about the setting, I'm talking about if it's, a, if it's an expo. Well, I ain't gonna lie. We I'm went to the t- women's expo. I, I went, we, me, 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 me and Skrilla went to the women's expo. I went to the women's expo. women's expo, I'm sure the women still outnumbered the men. Oh, oh by your by 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 ass. By by but can we talk about that then, though? In life. Okay, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Come yeah. on. Let's, oh, this is what we, this what we what do we here. For. This what we, 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 us being able to have this conversation intellectually is already a rare thing. Okay. Because for one, in regards to incarceration, in regards to unemployment, in regards to death, we are number women. True. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that is so, wild. That's a fact. So, if we, we lead in all those areas. We, we also are a number in higher education, which I'm not saying college is the only path, but at the end of the day, there's connections between college and wealth. It's just statistical, right? Facts. Or even, or even like, or even being in these nonprofit education centers, you still have to have a level of education. That's like, fair. That's the truth. So we we definitely are behind um, all day, every day. And and here's something I want to say too. And and I'm not saying it's nothing wrong with this, or yes, or I'm speaking against it. But typically, most of the nonprofits, and this is something people kind of don't speak on either. Most oh, of the nonprofits. Yeah, people, most, <laughs> most of the nonprofits that serve uh, low income communities, black and brown youth and kids, are not ran by people who look like the kids mm. that they're serving. Mm, not at all. Wow. Now, so if, oh, I mean, if shit. you look at the people who are on the front line, Yes, they look like the kids that they are okay. serving. Okay. But the higher that you go, the, look at that board of directors, look at the CEO. It it gets lighter and lighter. Okay, so be, before we before we get before we get yeah. to that, 
what can we do as black men? Because I, 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 I see that I shouldn't be offended anymore. Like, see, we like learning and growing. You said on this offended show. about what exactly? I was offended because we do a lot of we 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 really involved into the community. You can't take it personal. You and can, a, you should, but you don't. You know what I'm saying? So, so what he just <laughs> when he just did that, he's 100 percent right. A lot of the outside noise when they like black men don't do it, but like you said, we should. I mean, you should take it personally, but don't because be, because in a day is like you're an anomaly almost at this point. Mm. Now, okay, people are getting it now. Like, wow. so that's why with the loom thing, right? You know, I could be radical. You want to blow it up, burn it up, fuck it, do that. Okay. But my thing is, if this mean people were passionate, I didn't know we had this many soldiers. If this mean people were passionate about the community, this shit would look different. Hey, wait. <laughs> That's... He That's dropping a, jewels. He hold on, jewels. hold on. Motherfucker definitely stood up. When it was time, like he said. When it was, when time, it was time. When it was time to jump on that front line, motherfucker <laughs> said, yeah. When it was time to... Was it jumping on the front line or was it looting? Hey, it, a little it, bit of both. Depending on who asks. Depending on who asks. My, my yeah. point is Depend this: so, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not saying I'm no. I'm saying it was it was it was definitely front line soldiers, and it was looting. It was, it was a bunch of shit going on. I'm Dang. not I'm not dis, was, I'm not disputing that. I'm saying for certain things, like he said, when he made this statement right here, I didn't know we had this many soldiers. I did not. Come on, nigga. Is this if if if, if that's throw, a fact? You want to throw a brick? Cool. But if everybody threw a brick and placed a brick to build, imagine what the fuck we really have, though, right? So my thing is, come on, man. Nah, real talk. Anger is anger. Come on, come on, no no Ricky. Hold on, man. Don't no just be, no come reason. on, man. Don't just be glossing over the. Come on, not here for no come reason. Come on, man. Get your water, man. Come on, man. You better drink that hey, hey. your brother. Now so, carry on, carry on. We won't cut you off. Jewels, if, if and it, this is my this is my real thing because we deserve to be angry, of course, mm -hmm. of course. And to me, if you a motherfucker who been putting in work in the community and you just pissed and you tired of it, yeah. Okay. You, you deserve to be Turn angry. Up, yeah. But if your only part of the movement Whoa. is to be angry, that's when I got a problem. Because at the you gotta look time, at it from both sides. Yep. As a man, bro, I swear to God, grabbing one shorty twice a month can make all the difference. I kid you not. We talked about that. We and talked about that. Anyway. We definitely did. Take all duty with them, You know what I'm saying? Drive them here. Talk that conversation. To them yep. That that shit makes all the difference. But man. we're too busy to build our community. How do we find time to be outraged? That's all I'm saying. If we don't have enough time to build, how do we have enough time to tear down? All I'm saying. All right, so that's, that's good. let me ask you this: What can we do to what, be to be more involved? Like, what can we what, do, man? What because black really, man, the rhetoric is true. What, what can black men do? What can black men? I'm talking to all the black men out there. All, all right, across all America. the black men. All across the world. You have a camera that I need to look at. I, I would say Any this. Any camera, you can look at the front I, okay, if you want to. Okay, I, I would say this when it comes to the black man. Um, I believe take take the time to mentor other young black men. I mean, if you want to talk about what can black men do, it's like Ricky said, it takes nothing to have a conversation. I've invited guys who have had backgrounds, who have really been in difficult situations in their life. They're like, man, I don't feel like I got anything to share because my life been so messed up. You are the right. perfect person to talk to this young boy, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Because a lot of times when they're going through life situations at that moment, they feel that no one can relate to them and what mm. they're going through. They did the end of you think about it, and a lot of these black boys, they've been raised in single parent households by their mother, a black woman. These so here you facts. have this black woman a lot of times who's trying to raise a boy who's now trying to become a man who feels like his mother don't understand him. So it helps to sometimes another man or a black man to come say, you know what, it's cool. Listen, I've been there. Just just take it. Just listen. Just say, okay, you about to get ready to be out of the house in a few more months to go away to school. It ain't even that serious. I've had to do that with plenty of young people. You had the rhetoric boys. down. Back, I can tell yes. you had to do it. But no. before, before okay, you continue, I want to say this one thing. Um, I got to grab my glass because he said something. He dropped the jewel too. Um, he said, there are a lot of black women by themselves Holding it down. Holding it down. Yeah. Trying to raise strong black men. And that's a shout out to all the black women that's yes, doing sir. that. I don't want to cut you off. Think America. about when George Floyd, one of his last words, he called his mama. He mm -hmm. didn't, I mean, he didn't say, he didn't call his dad. I mean, he called his 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 mother. Bro, hey, um, it's been, I'm sorry to cut no, you off. Ahead. It's been plenty of situations where that's the first go-to. Your first mom could literally be thousands of miles away. The first thing you saying is mama. And it's just like it's it's an eight, it's, it's in you, bro. Bro, it's in you. Like what it's what what takes Mommy. us back? What takes us back that far, bro? To this like, bro, that's our number one lifeline, bro. To the most basic fetal <laughs> mom. Can I can I add to what he's saying, bro? Well, Cause I got a lot of students now who are young fathers and I see them really trying, right? Like really high, high school different. students you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, different. Like young high school fathers. Might be 19, 20, 18. Okay. But I would say this too. There's a clear difference, and you could then tell within minutes of a person who has a father in their life and who doesn't. Mm. 
it's, 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 it's easy to tell the distinction. So, like, as men, I, I think men get kind of disconnected early on. Like, you know, it's the woman's body, and they're not really as a part of it as they could be. But I want men to really understand, like, being that, being there and being a father, that shit makes a huge impact. Like, like no other. So, so, so. And, and I want to say this too. No, just talk real to quick. Talk to um, even if, even if, a, if a young boy did not have their father, like my father was in my life, but throughout my life, I had mentors that helped me in different stages of my life. When it came to get my doctoral degree, when it came to learning how to be a married man, like I learned that, I learned different things or aspects of my life from different men who helped me. And, and I truly believe that again, if we truly step up, we can really change our community. You don't have to have money. You don't you don't have to literally you do have not a position have to time. have money. You don't have to have money. And I think sometimes But you got money though. Like like it's, it's a million dollars sitting there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's why I was gonna add to your point. Like Jews not, are being not, dropped. Not Jews are down. being dropped. Pick them up. Pick them up. Like Martin not that was old Pick me though, right? If I come my mentor like I humble myself to that. It's it's shit in here that these people know that I don't know. That's just the reality. True. So you gotta help you. So you don't know everything. I think this. I'm a. I'm a strong man. I don't need no help. That shit gotta go. It so gotta, gotta so seek. being a strong man does not mean you don't need help. No, that means you being a strong. You're a strong idiot. <laughs> it's like you don't need help. You're a strong idiot. That's a fact. Remember the whole man on every direction shit. It's like what? That's, it's like nigga. I'm GPS. I ask somebody help, for help. Getting help is what made you a strong man. Period. You feel? So, and you didn't even know it. And you didn't even know it's, it. It's people your age, younger than you. Some of my students see me shit. What's going on? Okay. What's that? I learning is it, it's not it's not one way to learn, but as a community, the more we talk, the more we pick up new shit. You know okay. what I'm saying? If we don't if we don't ever co- communicate, <laughs> then we never had that opportunity. Okay, so so why we you got you got something else you want to add to that, Marlon? Or you good? I'm good. Okay, you good. Now yeah. I want because I want to ask this now. I really appreciate the game that you guys gave, um, but I want to ask this. Let's say. Before we can get to every single black man contributing again, before we can get to that call to action for all the black men, let's just let's let's take it back. Let's make it easier. Mm. Let's let's do it. Let's let's tackle something easier because we said from the beginning we have to start with the small task to even get up to the larger task. So let's ask this question. I want to know this from you guys. Okay. So if we had to nominate one black person to be the voice. Of the black community, right? <laughs> <laughs> we have to nominate one. You say who? I'm be quiet on this one. <laughs> I, I don't mind no, speaking no, no. on it. I no, 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 no. Okay, so we have to nominate right now. Now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lead the witnesses. So I'm gonna just say this: If we had to nominate one black person to be the voice, who would you say? Now, this is a light question. We're not saying that they're solid in their stance. They like this is who it should be. I'm him, I gotta ask. I'm gonna ask first though. All right, let's rock. Let's rock. Let's rock. I believe that is the problem. You are the change Ooh. yourself that you've been looking for, right? You are Come the on, voice. Doc. And the problem is, is that we're looking for one voice when we need many voices. Come on, Doc. Right? Because when you start having one person who is considered to be that representation of the community, then that is when people start to change. That is when people start to feel like they're bigger than the community. That is when they feel like the weight is now on their shoulders and I now have to carry this whole thing by myself. As opposed to, let's say, if all of us in this room were the voice of the community and we are collective, we come together, we talk about issues and we say, you know what? Things ain't moving unless we agree on it and we speak on it. And then, yes, we send a person out each time to speak on what we as a collective has to say. But there's not one person who should be that voice. That is the problem. We're looking for the leader when we are the leaders ourselves. Find that king inside yourself, young king. Talk talk to me. Ricky, go on, give it to me, baby. He wasn't far. I was going to say, you know, we all know that person. You wake up and you look in the mirror, he's like, damn. Like, that's that person. The reason why I said that, and this is the reason why. I'm kind of happy the looting happened, right? Because so many people felt powerless mm. beforehand. Mm, let me hear this. But you said some people said he said what? Pow- so many people I, felt powerless my beforehand. Expression. Pa- some people felt powerless, and, and, and feeling powerless is dangerous, right? Because you feel like you can't nothing you do matters. So my thing is, <laughs> he's got the jewels. Where's now I'm up for watching the news. Like damn, I set that on fire, or damn, I bust that window, or damn, I made people feel like this. I made I, made, I might impact people negatively, but I made an impact. So right. now it's like, well, shit. If I use these powers for something else. What can I really accomplish? So people have to understand, like, you can impact somebody's lives in a, a, a dozen ways. Whether it's these companies starting wow. to take down the federal flag, or whether it's the old lady who got to travel 30 blocks for medicine. You made an impact. <laughs> whether, <laughs> you know whether it be positive or negative. I'm just saying. You made, you made, you made an impact. You are not powerless. Like, you are not powerless. What you do can 
directly affect somebody's life. Okay, so let me ask this then. Let me let me let me get more specific then. Mm-hmm. These guys are very. They, they, these guys are intelligent. They are elusive. Now let me ask this. Who were they? All right, 1006 who who were they? <laughs> you know you fucked up, right? <laughs> now, uh, who would you guys say are some of the people who have been nominated as the, as the Black Voice? I'll say this. I'll go first. I'll say this. I'll put myself on Front Street now. What about Oprah? Jay Z. I just wanna. I wanna ask this question. Why does it always have to be somebody that's in the entertainment field? Like, why can't it be somebody like Michael Eric feel, Dyson or something? They like, feel like they got the money, bro. It's the money, yeah, bro. It's so it's the money. Thing too. Oh my. Okay. So wait, wait, it's wait. The so money. It's, it's really not about the game balance to end. It can end. If you told a shorty right now, hey. I'll give you 300k a month. Don't nobody down the street. I bet you nobody. It'll be a clear. Wow. And you know what? They gonna clear up the block too. Just, Period. just like, off extra just, match. Just for, just for kicks if in. If you gonna what? look like you want to shoot, you can't come through here. So no, nah, money That's does make fact. changes. That's it so does. so poverty. Now we're getting closer to the solution. So but poverty. I said that poverty. I said that at the end. No, 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 no. We're, we're, that's what I'm saying. And it's mental you poverty too, though. Everything else to now, make Pete, sure. It's mental poverty too because yeah. if you compare our poverty to a third, to another country. We, 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 good, right? we eat we good. good. Yeah, we but good. it's us compared to people who have more. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, if somebody have more, that's what I'm saying, it's psychology. Like, somebody have more than me, it's like, I'm automatically like, You can't tell me shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it was like, Look, cause we, cause we, like I said, we get money as community. I, I done seen it. I done seen a bus move for 67 k off a car. And if they got it now, probably not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Man, but it's ways to the money. It's there. Okay, so, okay, okay. There. So we're, we're, we're but somebody else got more. So I'm always going to be broken my heart. <laughs> <laughs> somebody else got more so I'm always be broken my heart that's how a lot of men, people mentalities actually are and that's why it's the way it is okay so let's ask you Shambi who would you nominate as the voice of the black community we're not gonna let them get off just cause it's a special episode you gotta answer this too first off talk to me doc I'm piggybacking off you and, and that's simply just because it made sense it's us bro like at the end of the fucking day bro we the ones that got to make it happen, bro. Period. Nonetheless, if we want to so, make it happen, bro, we got to. So does that does that bro. does that mean the destruction of the celebrity entirety? Entirely, I mean, is, is that is that what we aiming for? Is, no, are we going I, for I no just, more? Because as long as we have but figures see, that got all the bread, the reason, because look, I'm gonna say this: the the people I'm gonna, I was y'all was gonna go there. The people who have the actual bread aren't celebrities, though. They aren't real. I mean, besides Elon Musk and stuff like that. But I'm just saying, like, the people who really behind the scenes. It's scene, something we used to, or, though, bro. Can I speak on that then? Talk to me. Or so we think, right? Because, look. Or so we think. The reason, and this is crazy, because to a shorty, you never know what money is, really, right? Okay. I'll speak on that. Okay. So, you look at, um, it's good. like, gang life, right? And you think about why the shorty is gravitate towards somebody else. Because so dude got a nice car or whatever, but he's, he's tangible. He's right here. Okay. He can tell you, I got this car. I might read up this day, flip it that day, sold it that day. I'm giving you step by step. There's a lot of niggas with real estate who making money in certain neighborhoods who don't talk to nobody. If a shady was like, damn, I by choice, I don't know. Or is it because black men just aren't involved enough? So my thing is, if a shady was like, oh wait, with this credit score, because nigga to get a good credit score, you ain't gotta do too much, right? Okay. With this credit score, I could get this loan for this bill to make that money legally. Then they wouldn't do it. Of if they, they, if they knew the ins and outs of it, That's just like fact. the game. If you take the time to teach somebody the game, take the time. Like, for example, I'll say this. I had, I had a 19-year-old mentee of mine contact me, what, two days ago. He said, listen, I got 5K saved up. I got a, a 738 credit score. He didn't go to college. He just went straight into working full time. He said, you know, I... I've been seeing you get into real estate. Can I, can I get a building or a house? And I said, man, you most certainly can. Absolutely. Well, 5,000, you definitely can. I, I made the, I made the Most don't think that. Most don't know that. My, 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 bro, my it, bro made it happen. And he didn't know. But way. see, right now, he, and he's paying rent. <laughs> And I told myself, you know what? At, at 19, <laughs> you can literally have your own house. At 19, 20 years old, like to some people, that seems so untouchable. That seems so unreal. But it it is real. We've come. We've run through. Coming, especially coming from where we come from, south side, west side, whatever, we've we've run through a lot of five bands. You yeah. feel me? No, like I, not, the just, daily person <laughs> runs, hey, runs through bro, a lot of five bands. Oh, that hurts, bro. We know how to make some money, bro. I, I know it's gonna be poor and be helpless. I done seen. Man, I done went to, under, <laughs> I done to underground strip clubs. So let's that, kick that, that notion. That, that this size of this room with thirteen strippers making bread. So let's so let's kick that notion entirely. 
First of all, we already know it. The statistics already say that black people make up for what? More spending than anybody else in the U.S. Than anybody. So how, how is it that we continue to say, oh, we, we're poor. We, no, no, no. You got the, we got the money. The we know how to get to the money. It's what we choose to do with it and who we choose to spend it I, with. I ain't like I'm better than nobody. I got my bad habits too. Oh, of course. We lie. all do. That's, I, that's why we talking I, about I it. I could have been on the game. I could have been on the game. I could have been on the line. I could have been on the line like, how much that shirt costs? How much them shoes cost? To impress who? Some other motherfuckers who probably better got what I... Who be, we all in the same... We're not even looking at right? the same we thing you looking at. We just had this conversation earlier. Everybody in the hood, bro, you live three houses down from me. How do you want me to believe that you're checking that you a bag over me? Facts. But it's but I was watching black uh mental. Well, mental. I think it's black as fuck or whatever, and he was saying like the I like black um, as fuck. Sun, Sunday's best thing. Yeah, kind of like they used to dress the slaves up yeah. to impress others to impress the slaves like you know I look good, but you were a slave at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? So what he's talking about is on the show Black as Fuck, it was the segment where they was talking about the actual term Sunday's best, in which the slave owners would take their slaves to church and dress them up very nicely to impress the other slave owners, and then in turn, the slaves began, because they was dressed up and being showed off, they was better than some of the other slaves who had rags and things on, they started to feel like, oh, yeah, look at me. Mm. But you're, like he said, you're still a slave. And that's how we, that's our, that's our mentality right now, in our community. We're spending. Oh, look at me. I'm flexing. I'm flossing. Gucci this, Louis that. You know still if, if, you, if you look at the stores that were looted in our community, look at Nike, uh, you know, look at what, Talk to Akira. I mean, so Come a, on. Lot, a lot. I mean, they was hitting Sprint stores, City and then, Sports, and all this. Boost C- Mobile, C- and... C- City Sports, like because that. Uh, you hit eighteen year olds. I want to say kudos. I'm a, kudos. Come on, put the plan. <laughs> kudos. He to you. wants to raise the glass. I got ATM. to. That was an economic step. After watching a barbershop, I never would have tried that shit. I didn't think it was feasible or possible. But you all did that. <laughs> so, yeah. And that money is insurance. I will say. I'm not saying go out and hit all the ATM. I, I would say if you did hear all the ATMs and put it in the community, we can have more black businesses. That's all I'm saying. We have a lot of ATMs. Kudos to y'all though for hitting that. Kudos but, to that. But here's the thing, what I'm saying is that you mm-hmm. didn't I didn't hear of many businesses downtown, up north, or real expensive businesses that were being hit. I mean, it was the businesses that, like I said, people was first like, oh, like the mattress store. Like I don't know if you saw the video with the lady with carrying a mattress. <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. I didn't see that. Like, video. She need, I guess she needed a bed. You still in the bed, ain't hey, shit going on. <laughs> like, no, it's some real life problems going on. You're taking yeah. a whole bed on your back. This is a shout come up. Shout out to, to that queen. Yeah. But like a video, I, I'm sure you guys saw the video. I'm not sure the young woman's name, so I don't want to misspeak, but it was a young woman who made a very like motivational video basically saying like, we've been down so long that if we feel that our best chance at getting some of these things that in our society have been deemed unattainable for us, is walking through a smashed window, then there's a problem that needs to be addressed. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? what though? And she's right. I mean, you got to think about the pandemic that has taken place. Like, here it is, is that we have been in our houses since March. We're probably longer than that. What, March, April, May, June. Think about if you keep just an animal in a cage mm-hmm. for so long and you haven't fed them, you haven't did anything after a certain amount of time... That some like that animal that is going that. to like just come out. out. Is 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 going to react a certain type of way. So we being human beings, that now when you have people who have been laid off, record numbers of layoffs that have taken place. Um, due people, to the due the to COVID nineteen. No, no, no. Okay, due to COVID nineteen. Okay, so okay. this happened before the riots of the pen, like before. It was that. just bu- it was bubbling. It was just it was it was like a bubbling effect. It was a build up again. Mm-hmm. People. Not really getting money like they used to. People not Ooh, being able to go out. Setup. People who have now been frustrated perfect. probably from being in the house. So again, I think Drake got the song like when he talks about, um, I went to zero to 100 real quick. And I always say that you just don't go zero to 100 real quick. You already was on like 98, 99. <laughs> and it you just that, didn't count that. You just, yeah. you just, you just, you just count it because it, it, it wasn't 100. Yeah. It, it just took that one moment, right, to be like, you know what? I've been upset. And then we also got to think about people looking at George Floyd as being just... It was it was like just the tipping point. There was so from Breonna Taylor um, to the to the young Bro, man that it's, it's in Georgia. Like there's a of list. Them, all right? of them back here. Yeah. Everything, yeah. Every, every black woman and every black man that get murdered by who's not televised. It don't always. Oh, it's not. Yeah. So. And and there are some people who were now to the place of you know what I'm truly frustrated. I'm truly upset. So yes, there are some people who truly took advantage of the opportunity to loot. But then there's others who are truly upset and they are tired of the conditions within our community. I just want to see a change for the better 
completely. Like I don't want to see no life lost in our community. In, in the midst of this, in the midst of this change, we don't want to see any life lost. In, in, like let's say we get the police under control. Let's say hypothetically, okay. in, in okay, the real life down. world, okay. we get the police under control. Right? Police okay. are no longer a problem. Now, what are we going to do about the issues of us killing ourselves? Because that's self-hate still in the community. Okay, so I like that he put it that way. Because a lot of people post, well, before we even talk about the community, we got to talk about black-on-black violence. You put it the perfect way. You worded it so eloquently. Once we, let's just say hypothetically, we do get the police under control. Now let's talk about that. Let's talk about it now. What do we do? That's the thing. Like, and, and the way yeah, that... You know what's funny? What? Talk to me. Come on, Rick. So, give him the so, real, uh, baby. So with me studying youth engagement so much... You know, in the 90s, and I, and I also spoke about this too. They said my letter Hoover out, and I was like, eh. What are you going to do? And the reason why I said that. <laughs> at you know, this we, point, we nobody forget, really listened to it. We, we, we forget that economics means power, right? So when people were under control in the 90s, they were for free. Like, it was a bag coming behind it. I was eating. I was, I was getting, my family was eating. So my thing is. Whew, true, in the 90s. Now, and we got to get a grasp of it. Now a lot of our, our, our violence is not coming from I'm fighting over gang territory or money because <laughs> ain't no money. A lot of shorty ain't making money on the block. Ain't no, no bread out here for real. They it's doing it based on pride and lack of us being there to intervene, right? Or being there to help guide them. So that is a big thing. If I fight the community policing sounds cute. It sounds great in regards to like us community policing ourselves. But at the same time, it got to be some type. You have to have something there that's going to make me say, you know what? Let me listen to you. So I do think economics is a big piece in that, um, for sure. And I also think that us actually being involved in the community is a big There's piece in that, big too. Piece. Okay, so speaking of economics. Now, I hope I'm... Don't, like, don't quote me, mm -hmm. but I think it was T.I. who suggested that we, uh, we do a national blackout day. Well, he was involved in the group of people who originally you suggested talking about the same like that. one that said that uh, Atlanta is Wakanda. You know, <laughs> no, I didn't kill him. I said that. You know, no, we no, 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 no. I get what he was getting no, at though with no, that. I know. Ti was the one who said. I watched the whole thing. Okay. Ti was the one that said, "Why are y'all destroying our city? You know, we live in Wakanda." I get why he said that though. <laughs> like, okay, come on, dog. Because they have more developing black neighborhoods and black okay, okay. Than, than, than most places than, than, than any place really. Yeah. Atlanta so like, I get why he said that. Okay. So let me. So let me say this. He was also the one who called that we do a national blackout day like July 7th or something like that. Now, I get, he said we got to hit him where it hurt, economics. He was talking economics. And, and our, one of our black leaders that we, that for some reason has been nominated, I'm not saying is right who or wrong. Who's this black leader? Who? Oh, T.I.? T.I. Yeah, he's one of the voices I of the black like T.I. I actually like T.I. I love T.I. But I'm just saying a lot of people like that. No, I think T.I. is great. I'm not going to agree. So, so, yeah. let me ask, so let me say this. Okay. So if he said the national, okay, so I, this is my notion. Let's just say we don't spend no money on July 7th. No bread. Don't buy nothing. Don't do nothing. Nothing. We ain't gonna do shit but double up on July 8th. <laughs> yeah, or July 6th. <laughs> we gonna get a default. Hey, you know what's on so crazy? Nah, I thought about July that. July 6th is hey, really when everybody hey, gonna go out and go crazy. Hey, that's what I got Cause do that. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Bro, think about a motherfucker who wanna lose weight, right? Man, before I, before I talk this new diet, let me go ahead and go I, crazy. I'm, I'm finna go to Vegas right quick and he go crazy. Oh, it's like, it's like, you wanna get it in before you. I'm gonna get married. Let me go out here. <laughs> but let well, me go out here. You have to end off with a bang in any situation. Let, 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 you have let, to let end me, off let with me. a bang. I got $120. That's three of them. That's, that's 40, 40, 40. So, <laughs> like, I, I feel like as a community, like, our, our money matters, but I don't think we got enough to this, like, not bad things. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't think we, I don't think we plan. You know, that's why, like, that's why people talking about like, my little king. They were so organized that like, with a boycott, they had shit in place to boycott. You know what I'm saying? That's, they yeah, they, they really did not guy. want to buy it, though. They really you know had real but motivation to be like, I, 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 I want. I want to say this though. Is that I think it was Malcolm X that said the media is the most powerful entity on the earth, right? on this earth, right? It has true. the power to make the guilty innocent and the in, innocent guilty. Very true. But I think now social media has become literally that most powerful yep. platform, Definitely and there is. are there are people who are starting like movements through social media mm -hmm. because they are now getting topics trending. And then because topics are trending, like if you, if you ever think about it, what all of them kids was popping up in like Millennial Park, it was called a trend. I think I'm saying it right, right? It's a trend, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And it would be somebody would literally <laughs> no, it was say, trending. somebody would say, you know what, we're going to be at this park. 
we're going, and they'll be like, trend, trend, trend. Like, we're going to be here. Everybody just meet up here on 87. And then all of a sudden you have, or meet up downtown on Michigan Avenue. And then all of these kids, that is youth, will be, meet up there because that's what some, some random person on social media started. Everybody started sharing it. And then people are there. So when you ask a question about who are the voices, who are the leaders, again, if, think about if that one kid maybe said, you know what? Man, we all about to go meet up here. We all about to start supporting black business, which I've seen people start doing it, right? Say let's, say, let's say that we actually start getting lists together. And then these companies who are now white-owned, who don't support the black agenda, who's now been supporting racist you know, like ideology, could say, you know, we're going to support this black business over here, or we're going to support this business who now shows that they have black the black community at the best, their best interest at hand. So we're got now driving our money towards them. I truly believe the reason why a lot of these companies now are saying, you know what, Black Lives Matter. They now got the black flag. Oh, up. Yeah, they, they, all they, of this. they putting that, that black is the new black. The <laughs> because they, they're seeing, they're probably looking at studies and saying, wait a minute, black people ain't bound like they used to. They're not supporting True. us. They're pulling their black money lives back. Lives matter. You can't, you can't because fool us. People are calling out these companies say, you know what, okay, you just made a statement. Let's look at your board of directors. All of them are, are all white Caucasian. men that's older. True. All right, let's look at your staff. When was the last time you hired a black person? But yet, we as black people are supporting you in large numbers. That's not going to happen anymore. And I feel like people are now starting to like catch on to that. I was just telling Ricky as I was walking up about a lot of companies now are, are starting to hire diversity and inclusion positions because they want to they, they, they wanna learn the about how to be more diverse. And who are they hiring? They're hiring black people. And so we have to now put ourselves in position because we have the attention of America. If we want to realize it or not, we now just have to make sure we're on the same page and say, you know what? Because I was driving down Stony and all I saw on the sign was black owned business, black owned business, black owned business, black owned business. I never saw that many signs up. Proud to say black owned business. And that's right? a fact. Hey, and, and <laughs> he said he said the me. correct words. Proud to say because it's yep. like some it people be trying to keep it low me. key sometimes. Yep. Like hey, and, and I gotta agree with Marley. And I say black is the new black because you always hear the orange is the new black or you know, gay is the new black. And that's because some things are trendy. So like once you know some years ago, um, being gay was a trend, right? True. So where you know for economic reasons, you could be the most homophobic person ever. You would throw that on your ass, flag, throw that knowledge. in the target window, in the support of it's yeah. money. You know what I'm yep, saying? Yep. Now you That's see a a, them making James Bond black. It's like why are you doing this? Because you know that the black dollar is coming, and you know where we're going, right? So and, and to your point of the being black and proud now. And I, I always hear it in the songs, now I get it. I, I look at Black Wall Street, we hear about the Tulsa riots. True, true. You know, we hear about the riots that happened that tore down all the black businesses. But most of the businesses rebuilt after that. And when that happened, the white people was like, mm, I got a chest move for y'all. Now you had to come shop with us. So Black Wall Street fell after that because, not because of the riot necessarily, because after they rebuilt, niggas was like, oh, I can shop at the white store. Yeah, I can shop. They, wow. Why I'm shopping with you? So is, is that our mentality now? I could shop with the white man. Not necessarily something like I that. I didn't even get it back to what we need to be. No, it's, it's that I think sometimes people look at it as that I, I get a better offer or I get treated better or I get better quality sometimes when I shop with a white business owner versus shop with a black owner. Now, I'll, that's what some people think. Because if you always think and about the prices, because we don't have wholesale. I was, I was just going to say, think, we, think, we're, we're behind in a, chess, in a chess game, in a monopoly, in a game of monopoly. So we have to, until we empower ourselves and continue to spend that dollar at that rate that's higher than the yeah, white man or the other race the or whatever it is, import it, then we, yeah, it will never, never, like you said, it will yeah. never lower the price. I mean, because just, just think about, I want to use this example. I'm just going to kind of switch gears. I think he's 16 years old. He okay. is, um, I think they said, one, will be one of the top prospects when he graduates high school. He said, I don't oh, Mikey. know. Mikey. Yeah. Mikey he, Williams. He said Mikey that. Williams. Basketball, man, you know what? Basketball. Yeah. He okay. said that, you know what? Maybe attending the HBCU would not be so bad. All of the HBCUs at that time started. Game changer. Start sending Isaiah, him. I, literally, they. Was they, it Isaiah they, Thomas that told him, like, it was, it was no, a no, big no, up? No, Shannon, Shannon Sharp. You talking about Shannon Sharp, right? That was like. It was a lot of guys. No matter what school you go to. If you good, they gonna find. They gonna find. And then exactly. Isaiah game Thomas changer. was like, "Bro, game it's a game change that you do, bro. Big a up." A lot of the PWIs get money because of the, f the sports. The exactly. sports, bro. You know what I'm saying? Game change. Make that look at who the best athletes are. It's clearly this. It's it's it's, it's, not, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's clearly it's a part of our DNA, right? But you're right. But this imagine if they went to a Morehouse, a te you know, uh, Tennessee. The State, amount of funds Howard. they would have received. I mean, bro. you're you're talking about 
the the changing the landscape, it it will be tremendous, right? But and see, it, and all it takes is one. All it takes is one person to be. Imagine if LeBron said, "You know what? I'm sending Bronny to an HBCU, and I'm gonna put the it." The people and, you that know, follow then, behind I him mean, or look up to I him. Mean, like, I mean, we don't know if Bronny Bronny probably coming straight out. Of, oh, he can't. He got to do one and done. But <laughs> <laughs> King, anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> I'm just saying, but if, think Game about it. it if that will begin to change. People are gonna be like, "Whoa, wait a minute now!" Because it's going to make people start. And to really isn't that think. kind of weird that it, it, it was never like that from the jump? But that, I mean, you gotta look at one person take that stand. That's cold. But, like you know but, what? But that, I'm going to HBCU. That goes back into what he said, though. The main thing, bro, and you also economic. It's about the person. He said it only takes that one person. That could be anybody, bro, to just say, you know what. I'm going to do it a little different, bro. I'm going to just, you know, do this or do that. But I got I to gotta, wanna speak on something real quick. Hey, so I saw this photo, right, of, as we were talking about, like, how a lot of these, you know, companies of other ethnicities are trying to show their support. Some may be actual authentic support. Some may just be a mask to just get on the wave. Like you said, black is the new black. Mm -hmm. So I saw this picture, though, and I want to know what y'all think about it. It was a woman... It was a police officer, a black police officer standing on the line with a bunch of other police officers. And, and, yeah, and, yeah, and the white woman was screaming Black Lives Matter at this black police officer in his face. And he was just like, it's a dead face. And hey, I, I wondered, that... what's going through that man's head right now? <laughs> She's a white woman screaming at you that Black Lives Matter. You and that, you and that bitch like... It, it's tough. Because some police officers that are black joined the force to, to change, right? Like they be like, you know what? I, but it's almost like it's almost like having like this big ass pool of Kool Aid. And you put in a little inch of sugar. Mm. That shit ain't gonna be sweet. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's having Kool Aid, <laughs> but you got this one splash of sugar. But the sugar, like we got to make the Kool Aid sweet. You got at least put thirty bags. We got to spread out and make the Kool Aid sweet. But it's only so many of y'all. I know that some officers really want to go in the force and make a change and be heroes. But it's right? too much going on before you. But get you join a structure that has been in place. For long a before very you even existed. Long time, and you had a white woman who probably you know for lots of white people don't like oppressed people. They're like man, I don't like that. True, Some, true. Someone really with the shit. So that was that picture. Was, it was definitely an awkward dynamic. It spoke a thousand words. It, the white woman can never be black. That's just, just, just to make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if black officer is gonna be going through a lot forever, like especially this week, gonna do his whole life. So and then I, what's very interesting wait, wait, is wait, wait, that wait. when he take off the police uniform, he's still a black man. She at the end of the day, that's what we had to live with. I was just about to say that yeah. before. Before I was just say before you get to what you say, but you just hit it right on the head. So are we calling that all of our black people be a tad bit nicer to our black officers? No, no. Okay, okay. I'm, no, I'm just I'm, come on, talk to me. I believe in group think, and I believe that, and I, I got some homies that police officers. But the reality is that with any profession you got, you're going to have a certain ideology that matches that profession. So mm. even with the teacher's right, right? With me being in, in social work, I was upset the kids couldn't go to school. You know what I'm saying? But the teacher, they don't, it, they have their own ideology about how that went down, why they felt it was right, and all that, because that's the profession and that's what they stand on. Sure. So, and, that's, and we're going to have a disconnect in some areas. So I believe that when you put on that badge and put on that shield or that sh blue shirt, that you're going to have some type of ideology about self-regardment. That's why some like I feel like that it's hard. It's hard for people to grow up in a certain community and have a different a different mindset. You know what I'm saying? It's so hard we, to be that kid growing up with all racist people in your community and being like, you know what, black people kind of cool. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's true. It's hard. So that's as a true. cop, when these people were talking in the lobby about niggas being violent gang members, you probably ain't gonna say much. You probably ain't gonna say, "Are oh, you talking about little Chris from uh, from 35th? Oh, his mama just woo woo." It might be some in that crowd that say that, but I don't think as many are saying that in that police field. Because once you, for me, once you get certain ideology, you labeling people just based off labels. So I I, I uh a hundred percent agree with that. You have the ide ideology of the field that you go into, and I'm not saying that you don't have your own personal characteristic, your own mind, the way that you think. But I'm gonna be for real with you, like someone who who's very close to me, who told me he's a police officer and he's a black man. And he said there were nights where he had a white partner when he first started. The white, and they, and they, and they policed the black community. And the white partner would cry, like stressed out because he loved the black people. But every time he came to the neighborhood, all black people was ready to kill him. You mother, you ain't, you this and all this. And he like, he talking to my guy and he like, 
bro, you're my partner. T tell me how to fit in in this community. Like, tell me what I need to do. You can't. And that's exactly what he said. He said, bro, there's nothing I can do to help you, You bro. can't. There's nothing I can you, do you to know, help you. You know what? I, I, think, I think it goes back to people have, are going off experience of how they've been mistreated. You also got to look at, even when you look into our education system, a lot of times the teachers are majority white. They're not black. True. Um, and so sometimes people are like, you know what? Yes, you might be saying you're a good cop, that you're a good white cop. But at the end of the day, I've been mistreated so many times by other white cops. I look at you all as the same. And that is kind of, I think, what people are seeing it as. And that's because not wrong. They are, they, there are some people who literally say, you know what? I've been mistreated. I've been in this. Like, I've been pulled over by the cops, but a lot of times they, they look at, they run my record and they say, you know what? They just let me go. They had no reason for pulling me over. They just pulled me over. They 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 make up something. Oh, your tail light was out, or you know, we your color didn't match the the registration <laughs> on the that's light. Fact. I'm like, that's, that's I'm one like, of the what? Like it was ones, literally yeah. one time I was driving <laughs> off like 87, picking up, going to visit a friend of 87 in Ashland, and at that time I had a BMW, it was a black BMW, and a cop pulled me over and said he pulled me over because my car was black, but my registration said that it was brown. That did not make. I'm like that. Don't make sense. Make I know sense it's not. I know the registration is not saying it's brown, but they can never say that they just pulled you over for I'm wasting a, your time. Yeah, they can't just say I that's pulled you over because I <laughs> so felt like you were suspicious. That's a fact. They hey, have. To, they have to have hard. some type of reason to pull you over. And for a lot of people, especially people who are in the hood, they have experienced that discrimination from police officers, and so that's why Daily. they hold what they have. They us like is what I'm saying. Like. People have experienced that, and it, it has caused them to feel the way that they feel. Okay, so, yep. so, they, so like literally, I've been I've been pulled over by police, but when they see certain things, I get to having conversations. It's been one time just because I had a fraternity paddle in the back of my facts. car, and I literally had a. It was I think he was a. It was a. It was an alpha, and then it was a. It was a white police officer, and he was like, "Oh, you know what." I, you know, wait, what, what chapter, whatever you from? I explained. He's like, oh, I think I know one of your frat brothers on the forest. We had a conversation. He actually knew. Let, let us go. And I knew I was in the wrong because I read the. I ran, I ran the it's light. It's about who you know. It's about who but you know. It's, 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 <laughs> I read the light. He said, "We drink a lick. I'm untouchable. That's me. I'm untouchable, baby. <laughs> That's me. The DMX. I, I knew I was in the wrong, but it's, it's just to show that a lot of time, that's not always the case for everybody. And somebody said this is that. You know, we in this room have been put into a place of privilege based off being educated, based off That's the true. position and jobs that we have. Other black men don't have that same privilege. They don't have that same opportunity. So when they get pulled over because they have a record, police already going to instantly have that, that mindset about them or that thought. They're going to say, oh, we already know who we're dealing with because they're looking at their background, they're looking at their record. Especially not understanding and thinking that they're changed, but they're just going off the record that they're pulling up in front of them. Yep. So 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 let me say this then. So let me say this then. Um, I'm finna throw y'all a curveball real quick. So um, in other news, more flip flops and socks type of shit. Um, y'all ain't never had sex with a white girl and just did it and just for spite for the white race. Just for the white just race. Just for spite. Just to get one up. I, I would say this. I, first of all, my wife is the wokest black woman and she. Can <laughs> Look, he's ever, ever, wait, first of all, I've never had sex with a white woman. He's. That's a pool of black tar. Once it catches your ass, you cold. You cold. You <laughs> cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he ain't painted in the leaf. <laughs> um, scum. Come on, scum. <laughs> you know, I'm going to say this, and some people might be offended or whatnot. It don't really matter to me. I, I, I've never really had a real attraction to women who weren't melanated. Uh, <sighs> this scientist, I just never really had a real. I had like one in college, and she was like, Part of a damn black dance team, you know what I'm saying? Like I can't even, you know. <laughs> and that was just, and that was just one person. It is what it is. So, 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 and she was cool as hell. But my, my thing is, they don't have anything. Yeah, 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 I do it too. Screw with the NIU too. This is all NIU gang shit, right? Inside, inside, inside. You gotta edit it. You might have to cut this. So, nah, we was cool though. But that's like that's the only white woman who I ever talked to before. So, and and like I said, I just never, I've never been attracted, attracted to women that wasn't black. Really, that's fair. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like I seen women on TV like the cast from Charm was cute to me. The Pango was fine to me. To me, the pink was the pink was, yeah. But, uh, the pink was. I, I'll be honest, bro. It's, it's hard enough. <laughs> black woman identified was the most, but it is hard enough to explain the shit I go through on a daily basis to a black woman. 
So I know for a fact that anybody outside of that is really going to be like, this shit going to be foreign to them. Me really explaining every day basically going to be foreign to them. You know what I'm saying? Everything uh, will be foreign. Like, I remember uh, I had a black woman who I really respect. He was like, yeah. She's like, I don't understand the difference. Like, she's talking about a struggle with black woman. She like, yeah, got, she, a white nah, woman was talking nah, about a struggle with nah, black woman. Was saying it. Oh, okay, and she okay, was okay. saying, well, y'all got y'all doors, men. Y'all ain't got to worry about y'all safety. And I looked at her, I was like, what? Fuck? Nah. Wow. And this is a very educated, whoa, smart black woman. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm like, this is what y'all really think going on. Everything I really walk outside. I'm like, do, do, do. Like, like, yay, like, like a privileged white man. <laughs> so when hey, she said that, <laughs> I was like, wow, it's very disconnect between black men and black women that we got to fix. Like, it's a, it's a huge disconnect. Damn. You know what I'm saying? That is very true. Because um, I might have had to walk past a group of guys, cat calling, trying to grab my ass. I had to walk past niggas like, where you from and who is you? You True. know what I'm saying? Like, that's way that's way worse than that's way more than baby. Hey. Check it out. I ain't saying what's worse or what's better. I ain't, I'm, I'm not gonna go there. Okay. okay. Especially okay. not right now. Okay. Hey, but got a time like I'm not saying that. Because I'm not saying that, that. Hey, that, that, that at all. Slow it down, fellas. Let me bring you back. What I'm saying is the comparator struggles makes no sense, right? And as as black men and black women, we really all we got. I don't give a fuck how you feel. They could have cheated on you 10 years ago. And your I love that. Your girl could have cheated with your homie. And you and we put everybody in the same box like black women cheat or black men cheat or whatever. All I'm going to say is this. If we don't have each other, we ain't got shit. Because. And, 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 and on that note, I'm going to put the question to you. Have you ever did anything with a white woman out of spite? Well, I didn't slay. I didn't slay. I didn't God damn it. You made a three Black Lives Matter Let me tell you something. <laughs> for my people. <laughs> ah, this is for the, the many years of the struggle. The many years of the struggle. Oh, you better believe. See, what? these guys right here are and they, true legends. And, and, they, and, they, and, they, and, they, and that's why they own the show. And, and, I, and I love And that's why they're here. I, want, I, I, asked for a certain, I asked a certain type of question. I got a response that exceeded any expectation I had. Right. They said, first Every of all, his question. first answer was, first of all, my, my wife is... One of the he most pro black. Like, you don't even. Yeah, he, he went there. So twenty thirty five. I make that same thing. <laughs> okay, now, 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 Ricky said, "I just never been attracted to anyone who isn't melanated." Meanwhile, me, this is for my forefathers. <laughs> ah, this is for those who couldn't make it out. But hey. all boys to the side. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, we got a good laugh out of these guys. Hey, the viewers like, yeah, this is the, oh, what, what? <laughs> yes. And it's like it's like Scum B. You know how you TV. watch BT and shit, and it just get real different at, at a certain time. At two a.m. You be like, not. it's it's different, baby. It's different. But, head down. Head oh, down. the tip drill. You Sc- scroll up. The tip drill video is coming. I know what. Just after the man just got through saying, Ah, Lord. Say anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> right before. So with that being said, I would like to say that I appreciate you guys for coming, mm-hmm. for talking about these topics. We talked about the police. We talked about how there has to be a solution. Before we completely defund and dismantle. Yes, sir. We talked about economics. We talked about how before we can just say, all we need is this. All we need, we need to just spend the money here. Do, do, do this or do that. First of all, it's about the community. And then we talked about leadership, which also Always. played into community. Always. Before, before we say, oh, you're the voice. Before we nominate any of these celebrities or anything like that, everybody within needs to make the change. Everybody at home needs to make the change within. Like these young brothers. And, and I want to say this too. Talk quick, to them. Is that. I think a lot of time we look for celebrities to be our leaders, but if you actually sit in a room with people who you consider who you, celebrities, who you, who you admire, a lot of t- they don't have the words to say. They, <laughs> the substance at all. <laughs> I mean, you would be like, it's true. once you really that is get so to, true. Once you really get to talking to them, you'd be like, I prefer you not to speak. To be <laughs> That's a fact. Like, That's, that's a fact. Find you a girl with five hundred k followers and sit down with her. You'd be like, man, I'm like on your peaks. That's like, a fact. <laughs> this. You know, what what this type of shadow everybody, conversation. Media, media face everybody with a platform out there deep, bro. It's anyone politicians. Like, yeah, it, I look. At, I don't need to look at systems, but in reality, it's people in these places doing stuff, right? Doing they, these. I things. mean, like it's people, regular it's legit, people, regular people in these places, yay or nay, voting on shit and making stuff happen, right? Why not you? That's all look, I'm saying. The Why power you? is always yours and the people. So again, we'd like to thank Dr. Marlon Haywood and Mr. Ricky Layfield for let's joining us on episode nine of Flip Flops and Socks. Flip Flops and Socks. Hey, hold on, let's give him a round of applause. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, Shambi. Hold on, you gotta grab that. You gotta grab that. We gotta pull up. You gotta grab that one right there too. You gotta grab that one too, because we need the some more. You, you gotta slide it. And we made sure. Excuse me, fellas. We made sure uh, the label's covered. Black Pride. Now, <laughs> red and green, black, baby. Now, 
with that being said, man, for real though, we really do appreciate y'all. You good? Everybody Thank you. Good? Yeah. Appreciate that. Let me get you right. Coming at y'all busy schedules, man. To come these uh, to guys, the show, man. Let me tell you that. something. For everybody who won there right now, hey, why the episode coming out on this day instead of Wednesday? Don't worry it's about it. It's a special these, one. It's a special episode, It's a man. special episode, These guys, man. these, let me tell you something. It was really me, but we ain't going to talk about that. So, with that being said, yeah. I appreciate you, brothers, man. So, let's raise the glass for not only everybody that's on the wall behind us, but for all black people around the globe, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's do this together, man. Thank y'all for joining us on Flip Flops and Socks. I am your boy, Wakanda. Paris. I am. Tashaun B. <laughs> like he said, like Ricky said, and T.I. said, Wakanda forever. Forever. <laughs>